Hey guys, it's me. We're going to do a video on Invasion Stripes here. So, uh, first off, uh, I got my caliper here. I got my measurements so I know where my stripes start. And um, maybe using a caliper is a little over the hill but, or over the top. But anyway, um, so I'm doing that, measuring my, uh, my outside edge. Um, and then I'm gonna just take a little cocktail stick there and just put a put a little mark, a little shiny spot, so that I can see where it is, so I know where to line the tape up. And uh, I don't know if you can see that there, but maybe you can. And uh, then we'll uh, grab us a piece of tape and um, put that on there. Get it as straight as you can. Just kind of eyeball it. You know, I mean, these things weren't perfectly straight, but you are working in scale, so any little bit you're going to be off is going to really, really be noticeable. Um, so try and get it as straight as you can, but, you know, don't worry too much about it. So we get that, um, <clears throat> get that lined up, burnish it down, make sure you get it into the uh, panel lines and stuff, into the aileron, uh, separation line and whatnot because it will bleed um, quite easily so we're burnishing it down there and then uh, then we'll move on here um, so now we're going to do the inside edge I've reset my uh, my uh, caliper for the inside edge and uh, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it on this. I'm not going to burnish it. There's really nowhere to burnish it. And there was a panel line there that I could kind of see. So now I'm propping the wing up so I can really lay this line of tape down. I've used a thinner line of tape so it doesn't doesn't uh, scrunch up on the body. It just makes it easier to lay down a straight line. Um, and uh, that tape doesn't have a whole lot of stick left to it. But that's okay. You know, that's actually a good thing. So... We'll get it laid down there and get it stuck on, and uh, um, I'm just checking it, make sure it's in the right place. Now, one thing I did notice after I got these on was they don't seem to be in the same place as most other people's lines, but oh well, I don't know. Now, the flap, how do we get the, the lines in the same places on the flap? Well, it's actually a lot simpler than you think. Um, I'm just going to place the flap in here. I tried putting it under the tape here first, and and uh, that didn't quite uh, quite work out as well as I wanted to. I mean, it gave me an idea where the line was, so I could just rip a piece of that tape off and and uh, put it where I wanted it. So so that works, you know. I mean, it's offset from the wing enough that if you're off a tiny bit, nobody's gonna see it. But yeah, see, there's so now I know where the tape runs on the flap. So now I'm just going to rip a piece of that tape off of there and actually use that <clears throat> to mask the flap. Um, I thought that's what I did. Is that what I did? That's what I remembered. I did, I did this like a month ago. <laughs> so um, there we go. I've just finally had the time to sit down and uh, and actually put this together and kind of edit it down it was extremely long so I got it cut down to 12 minutes but anyway so now I know where that line is I'm just going to put that tape on there and bada bing bada boom there we go um, apparently I was talking to myself <laughs> no I was talking to the camera but anyway um, so yeah we'll set that off to the side Actually, I'm going to do the other one here at the same time because, you know, the other side should be uh, pretty close to the same. Um, should be. Not always, but should be. Just checking it there again. Um, so, yeah, I'll actually put that piece of tape on there, on that one. And uh, and it should line up with the other side when I get the other, other uh, piece of tape there. You know, these things... Uh, it's kind of funny because I did. I looked up the spec um, on the P47 on where the lines are supposed to be. 
and that's what I use to do my measurements and I don't know whether I messed up or something but my lines are either a lot wider than somebody else's or anyway the inside line is a lot further in than than I'm used to seeing so there we are um, there's the the masking for the white um, so what we'll do now is uh, we'll uh, come in here in a second and uh, and we're gonna paint some white and I don't know why this frame is so long why did I leave all of this in here I guess I could just jabber <laughs> anyway um, so yeah so here we got our uh, Tamiya white with our uh, XF20 thinner and our Tamiya black that's what we're gonna be using um, so I got the white loaded up in the airbrush um, and uh you know you run at eight to ten pounds of pressure and um, you really don't need a lot of pressure it's just a lot of light coats um, you don't want to get it to uh oh what am i trying to say you want a nice smooth coat you really don't want to have to go back and knock this thing down or knock some edges off of or anything because um, it's just thin and, and you'll probably just mess it up so so nice thin coats um, I don't know why I did that I put that flap on there leading edge toward me instead of trailing edge toward me which really was kind of dumb <laughs> so I'm flipping it around and I'm going to do the same thing you know light coat um, nothing fancy, just, uh, um, getting it on there, hello, wake up, McFly, there we go, um, again, another nice thin coat, uh, one thing I've learned with the Tamiya paints, I don't use them a whole lot, but I used to thin them with alcohol, which does work, but they tend to chip, but, uh, the XF20 thinner is is far superior to the alcohol so I think I'll stick with that now I'm um, going for the big parts I did not mask the leading edge or the trailing edge um, which is okay because um, with such low pressure you don't really have to worry too much about that edge you can just go right along that edge just like I did and it'll be absolutely fine you don't need to mask that at all um, you're not going to get a whole lot of overspray on the top side because of the low pressure. So now I'm going to go back and do the, the area around the flap well. And I'm basically doing all the edges. Um, why? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, the leading edge and the trailing edge make total sense. The two side edges where it's taped. Who knows? You know, must have something to do with the way I learned how to color or something when I was a kid. I don't know. but uh, So yeah, just uh, do your white, fill it in, um, light coat, go over to the other side, light coat, come back. Basically two coats is, is, is plenty. Um, and then uh, once we get that done, once we get that done, once we get that done, <laughs> come on, man, hurry up. There we go. Um, so there's our white. Uh, looks great. Now we're going to move on to uh, to doing our black. So what I've done is off to the side, I actually have strips cut for the right width of the stripes. And we're going to start applying those. Um, the wing stripes are actually a different... Uh, with than the than the body stripes the body stripes are three eighths I don't remember what the what the wing stripes width is on these so uh, I've got a bunch of strips of three eighths tape over to the side and uh, that was just me setting my caliper so I could cut the tape so what I'm doing is I'm actually butting this up against the edge masking that I've already done. And just bringing it down the side and just lining it right up with the edge of the uh, the other piece of tape because this is covering up what's going to be a white line right because now we're going to paint the black lines so um, I'm just laying that in there 
and pressing it down and making sure it's making sure it's lined up before I burnish it all down and then I'm going to come back in with a second piece and this piece I'm laying I'm going to lay a piece right next to that white stripe which is where the black stripe will go I know but I'm just going to use that as a spacer until I get that middle stripe um, placed and then I will pull that that other Oh well, right now I'm doing the back edge, but but as far as the middle stripe goes, since all the stripes are supposed to be the same width, I just take a, another piece, line it up against that edge again, then line the next piece up against that edge, and then pull that other piece out. I hope that makes sense, um, and uh, that's how I space it. That's how that's that's. So basically you end up with uh, white stripe masked and then I put a piece in there where the black stripe is going to go and then I put the other white stripe mask in there. To, and So there we go. With the, so now we're doing the doors, the gear doors. I painted the gear doors white. The easiest way to get that demarcation line on there, I've, I've set that door in there in the wheel well. I'm going to take a piece of the same tape that I used to mask those stripes and line it up and stick it down right there. And then I'm going to pull it out, and it'll pull the gear door out with it, and the tape's right where you need it marked off. Now, I'll take the other gear door that matches that, and I'm going to actually line it right up on the tape and, uh, and press them together. And that's why you want to use the same width tape, the same tape that you use for stripe. And there you go. Tape them down to the table. Get the gun with some black in it. There's all the rest of the doors masked. And... Uh, We'll just shoot them with some black here. And we're pretty much done at this point. I mean, uh, you can see the rest of it's done there in the background. And, yeah, that's it. There we go. So, hey, painting invasion stripes. That's it. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.